Linking your Shopify and AutoRedash account is really easy. You will need two things. Number one, your Shopify store and your login. And number two, your AutoRetouch account and your login. That's it, let's get started. So here I have my Shopify store. I just installed the AutoRetouch app and in the other tab, I'm logged in into AutoRetouch. To link these two, what I need to do is go to configuration, then click on connect account and then here on verify. A new tab will pop open and I need to compare these letters in here with these letters. If they match, I click confirm and that's it. Now my Shopify store is linked up to my auto retouch account showing the very same workflows that I have in here. And that's how easy it is to link your Shopify store with your auto retouch account. So let's design our first workflow in auto retouch. And let's use the ideal Shopify settings for them. Here I am logged into auto retouch. I have created a new workflow and I've given it the name Shopify ideal workflow. Now let's start designing. I'm going to take an image of one of my products drop it in here and right now input equals output since I haven't dragged any components in here. Let's start with a simple remove background. All right, now let's put this on a canvas. That is the template that I need for my shop. And here I can specify the padding according to Shopify's ideal guidelines, that should be something like a 10 pixel uh, margin around it. And the image right now, it's in a two by three aspect ratio. We'd like to change that to a square aspect ratio of 2048 by 2048. And last but not least, export that as a JPEG and the compression setting of 80 seems fine. All right, let's save that. Now have a look in our Shopify store. The Shopify ideal workflow has no components. If I refresh the page, it will show the components in here. And this is how to set up your Shopify ideal workflow. Now I'm going to show you how to apply an auto retouch workflow to product images of your products directly in Shopify. Let's take a look at my web shop. I have these images in here that are clearly a two by three aspect ratio. They are not square and there is some kind of background. Now what I'd like to achieve is to bring them into a square format and to remove the background. For that, I've set up this workflow in my auto retouch account that includes a remove background component, a set on canvas component that puts the object on a 2048 by 2048 canvas, and then an export component that exports this file as a JPEG. Now in my Shopify store, here you see the image. That's exactly what you've seen in the shop in here. Now, how do I do the transformation? I go to apps. This is where I find auto retouch. In here, I click the workflows tab and I see my Shopify ideal workflow, this one. So I'm saying run workflow and here I can add the products. And here's the product with, this, with the three images. I click add. All of the three images are loaded into the workflow and then I click Submit. And now all of the new images will pop in here. And if you want, you can also have a look inside Auto Retouch. You will see that the images are being processed in here just as well. So let's give it a couple of seconds. And the last step is you need to specify which image you would like to use the original or the retouched or auto retouched one. 
So let's set two of them to the retouched and leave one as the original. That's all you have to do. Go to products. You see it automatically updates in here. And now you see these two have updated. This one hasn't. If we click the preview button as well, all right, the first image is a square aspect ratio. The third one as well. The second one is still the old one. And that's how easy it is to apply an auto retouch workflow to product images of your products from within Shopify directly.